This is the story of how I brought a Mexican street kitten back to life. Late one rainy afternoon, I was working in the co-working space in my co-living in San Cristobal de la Casas, Mexico. I decided to take a break, so I went to the kitchen to grab a drink and just kind of have a chat, see what was going on. And when I got into the kitchen, there was a box on the kitchen table. And inside this box was a teeny tiny kitten. Not like an eight week old kitten, like a fresh out of the cat womb size kitten. <laughs> I started asking around, whose cat is this? What's going on? And one of the girls in my co-living nonchalantly says, oh, she was on the street by herself before the storm. So I grabbed her and brought her in. And then she left the room. And as I sat there with this teeny tiny, very vulnerable being, I knew I had to do every single thing I could to keep this kitten alive. So I jumped into action. I messaged every single vet and sent Cristobal for kitten replacement meal so I could make sure that she was getting fed. As soon as there was a break in this like, insane storm that was going on, I ran as fast as I could to the vet that had the kitten replacement meal, bought it, and started just syringing it into her mouth as much as I could get in. My plan was when there was a break in the storm to take her out and see if I could find her mom. However, it ended up raining all night, so she stayed with me. I stayed up all night, she slept on and off. <laughs> and I made sure that she lived through the night. Just out looking for the kitten's family in any like overgrown grass area I can find. Meow. I don't know, do you just meow at him? I'm not entirely sure, but a kitten that small, best chances with the mom, so. After a few fruitless hours of searching for the kitten's mother and coming up empty, I knew I needed to take her to the vet. I needed to get an idea of how old she was, how much I should be feeding her, if I'm even feeding her the right thing. Again, just doing everything I can to keep this kitten alive. The tricky thing about San Cristobal de la Casas is it's a pretty small town and there's just not a lot of veterinary resources. There was one nearby my house, we took her there. Long story short, the veterinary clinic kept sending us to different locations and I was weaving in and out of all of these local markets just trying to take this teeny tiny kitten to the vet. We just couldn't quite get to one that day. I knew at the very least I needed to find her a baby bottle because the syringe method of feeding her was not working. So luckily I found a pet shop with a little pet baby bottle and I was able to finally feed her effectively. We were both exhausted at the end of day two and I was hoping that maybe either of us would sleep that night and that's when the diarrhea started. This poor little baby kitty had diarrhea the entire night. I looked at her curled up underneath a blanket and I thought she was gonna die. And I remember sitting there and just holding her and just saying, like, you can go, it's okay, you're safe. If, if you can't stay, it's okay. Thanks. Luckily, the morning of day three, we were able to get her to the vet first thing. Okay, here's the situation. So she's healthy. Other than that, she's having digestive issues. He gave me like an electrolyte, like an electrolyte drink basically to give her and then some extra medicine to like, or some extra food or whatever, like supplement thing to help her grow. But since so she's three weeks old, she has to be fed every three hours. <laughs> and she's gonna be okay. Oh my gosh, she's doing so much better. Look at her. She's eating and taking her meds and she was up walking around and meowing. And... Yeah. She says hello. What do you wanna tell him? Okay, bye. I was asleep and I felt her come out here and I was like, oh, that's sweet. And then all of a sudden it smelled like poop and I was like, she pooped on me. Um, excuse me. You pooped on my chest. Okay. Well, we moved into our private room and it's about to be bath time. Okay, listen, it's bath time, okay? You smell like <laughs> And it's, it's my fault. It's my fault, okay? But we have to get clean. We're in a bit of a situation. <laughs> hey, who said you could go under there? Who said you could go under there? She's just like a menace to society one second and then the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Try to get a little bit of sleep before the next feeding. 1.30 in the morning on day five and it's time to eat.
4.30, Phoebe. I'm so... I'm barely awake, but... Man, she's alive. Say good morning. Mm-hmm. My God, she just shoots up like a little rocket, you know? Oh. What are you doing? Nope, not close to the edge. Not close to the edge of the bed. It's like she found her meow and she has not stopped meowing since. I know, I know, I know. Come here. We're just trying to see if that's your mom. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. The thing is, is, there's a cat that keeps coming around and we're trying to figure out, like, if it's her mom. Because if it is, like, <laughs> we want to give her back. But when we put her out, she, like, runs away. So I don't know. We're going to keep trying, though. The cat finally approached her. And in the beginning, the interaction seemed to be going okay. However, I could tell the kitten was getting more scared. It was in this moment that I knew that she was mine. I felt such a strong urge to protect her, to care for her. And I knew that I was her mom. Everyone meet Mila. She is my happy, healthy, six-week-old kitty. She's been with me for exactly one month today. And in that month, my entire life has changed. All of my space in my room is now her space. We do everything together. We work, we play, we sleep. I truly don't remember what life was like before her. My plan with Mila is to bring her on the road with me and make her a travel kitty. And I'm gonna document the process of how I'm helping her be comfortable to travel. Now, obviously, this wasn't my plan, but I'm so happy that she found me. Okay, that's all for this time. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Say bye, Mila. Can you say bye? Bye. Okay, we'll work on her bye. <laughs>